Welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to earn coal, the fastest method, and right now in Save the World's update of uh, Frost Knights. It's actually the best season time to be farming with coal. I would recommend it because you can earn up to think at least 30 plus coal. And it's very simple how to do it. All you need to do is just go to Crack Shots Neighborhood and click on the following missions. I would, I mean, I think these are the missions that give you the call guarantee because it's what I know of from like last time. It's Protect the Presence, the three of them. I would recommend to go to the lowest lowest zone, uh, 88, because where that is where you, you can pretty much do them, like pretty much do the call, uh, you know, call farming, and it, you pretty much just have to, you know, you're not going to die a lot, pretty much is what I'm saying. Also, I recommend to put a private because a lot. If you are put on public, that probably everybody should be getting all the boxes, all of the, the pre Christmas presents, all the presents, because you know farming up coal is a really good method at this time. So, I will show you guys multiple areas where you, you can literally find the best spots to find farm coal. Of my knowledge, there's actually, there's actually a few. And I'm gonna show you like a little hidden one because sometimes people will never check and maybe people might forget. And I know that people already know about this method, but this is mo this video is mostly for the new players or, or people who don't remember anymore on how to grind because you know, like from the previous frost lights, you probably knew from uh, like you probably knew from others, or this year it's like this is your first year of save the world, pretty much in frost lights, and this is pretty much to show you a hey, this is the best method to farm of coal. Coal is a very useful for material, so in order I would recommend at least doing this two times a day. At least, you know, to get your subtracting of coal. So when it leaves, you at least have a good, decent amount of coal. I don't think this event's going to leave anytime soon. Maybe maybe we'll leave all the way to J January to February, around there. I think January, actually, because then it'll be Valentine's. Maybe. I don't know. So, so these are the spots where you pretty much going to spawn. You're going to spawn in right here, like always. You could always come to this little, you know, shack. This shack has a few Christmas presents that you can search up, and there's coal. I think the drop rate of coal is around an 80 to 90 percent chance, and then the rest is the it's the rest like the remaining percentage is for active power cells. I would recommend to kill Hus because Hus can accidentally kill, and accidentally destroy the traps, as you can see. I would recommend to do that. Oh, my controller is on battery. Pog, but look, you can see some presents right here. And I'm not gonna search them because I don't need them. And you, there's another, there's a few more locations that I know of, and everybody else knows. And it's good. So come over here. And so if you come over here. Uh, all right. So the multiple, there's, there's two locations, which is like the big ones. So one from where I'm at, from the north side, you see the houses over there. Those are where you can find like majority of the coal, and the rest is over here on this side of the you know the, uh, of the map, the south side. That's pretty much exactly kind of the layout of Frost Knights. If you if you really think about it, it's almost exactly like it. if not it is I don't remember. So in this little shack, you're gonna find a lot of Christmas presents, you know. And you, you can search up all of these like you, like I'm a, uh, like I'm gonna do so right now. There, you might see me getting a few active power cells, which is alright and all. But I also would recommend to kill a lot of the husks around surrounding areas because they can accidentally, accidentally, they will more likely break the uh, um, coal, you know, the, the presents. And you kind of want to protect those because, you know, each little one is actually really valuable for coal. And you can pretty much just see the coal stacking up right there. And there's some in here as well. There's, there's some inside the building. Uh, some outside and a little bit in the back area that I'm going to show you right now. Come over here behind. There's some over here, some Christmas presents over here, some in there. And there's also a few in here. Only spots in here is the one, if you go right in front of you, there's four Christmas presents. And then the, and then the little, you know, not I guarantee active, but you know, a little gnome you can break for active power cells. Which is really good, in my opinion. Alright. We're gonna go over here, if I, I like, I remember. I guess it's been a while though. Like I have not been here for a long time. Um, I don't think that area does have fucking. Oh, oh no, it doesn't have any. All right. Over here, you're not gonna find any coal in this area right here. This gas station, nothing. There's, so I would not recommend it. Like you know, 
searching up this this will be a big waste of time let's just say like 11 minutes the areas that are will have coal is these three houses one two three and four inside this one if i remember correctly there's not a single christmas present in there but there's a rounding uh, rounding area is right in front of the house and there and then the rest have them inside so just you know make sure to collect all of them and there's always a thing there's two actives that you could have a chance of one up there or the gnome and one down on the floor and then there's christmas presents right there and there's one more area uh if you come right here in the back of this house facing the west side of it back here you will have a few more presents and if you're doing high level zones it could be like you know sunbeam there a bright core but like one two three four five and then uh, sometimes there could be another one up here if I remember correctly from last year. So yeah, that's this. This is the best way to farm up coal. I would recommend to at least do this a few times a day. There is no other coal that I know of around the map. I don't. There's none in there as well. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was useful to the beginners and if for people to jog the memories of where to find the coal and the fastest, I would recommend to at least use a few amount of times because you know, grinding coal in this game is somewhat hard if you don't want to pay or you don't want to trade for coal because one, paying, you don't have the money to or you don't want to spend money in this game. Um, and like one, um, that it's one trading could be you know scamming and shit like that because people want to uh, scam you or over tr or overprice you by a lot for coal and last but not least it would be you know duplication glitches and stuff like that duping coal and everything the the chance of you have like knowing and working duplication glitch is very slim to none and the people who do know it don't want to say it to anyone so i hope this video was useful to you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll see you to the next one peace